Welcome back oh. to the Goons Podcast. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Welcome Hello. back. We're all Goons here. Podcast it's been a time long time. Yeah, it's been. It is us. It's been Goons one podcast. week since we did a podcast. It'll be one hour that we talk this week. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Actually, 59 minutes. Yeah, 59 minutes. Blog, no blog, mm, mm. He do be yeah, saying that. Talk. He do, do. Blog yeah. has to get oh, fitted for a new turban. Is that what I said? <laughs> Better not interrupt that or face his wrath. That's not <laughs> funny. I found it lightly comical. Isn't... Is, are <laughs> turbans... That's fair. Arab? Or, I think turbs are... Tur, uh, tur, turbs? <laughs> are turds turbans. Arab? Yeah. Tur... My... Uh, my turbans, Christ, aren't they? Aren't saying? turbans Indian? Is that an Indian thing only? Or do Arabs wear turbans? Only too? Indians? I want to be a They're 100% honest, epic, if that's what we're asking. Because like when I think about a turban, and I think radical. of like 7-Eleven owner. And 7-Eleven owners are Indian, they're not Arab. Okay, well that's racist as <laughs> fuck. Thank you, Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> that was just... Have you ever really once good. actually gone Anyways. into a 7-Eleven and they're, and they're wearing a turban? Yeah. You know, I don't know if I've ever been into no. a 7-Eleven. Really? You just heard yeah. the, the legends. I mean, I've seen them, but I've never actually been into one. Mm. I'm Sprint Gang. I don't, okay. Sprint? Oh, that's, I like Sprint gas stations. Sprint? I like uh, Circle uh, K's. Like, well, sp- okay, we have those around here. Oh, okay, Sprint Circle is, K, I yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that used to be Max yeah, Milk, Max right? Max Milk. <laughs> Was that not <laughs> what, what they were the called there? That's what they were called here. Circle K is always go to, to Max Canada. Milk if that was a fucking yeah. service station. Max gas station. Milk is McNa- M- McNasty's mom's ditties, in my mind. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you don't yourself. like it, do you, McNasty? <laughs> yeah, your mom's hung in the tit department. <laughs> yeah, I know we've covered this already. Yeah, I've covered your mom. Your mom yeah, got hung this tits? Some stupid joke he you made know, on hung tits. the forest video game recording it was video. An amazing joke. Nah. Wasn't that funny? Well, well, Dude said that good. nasty's mom is hung in the tit department. Where's <laughs> that's the, one that sticks with me? Where's the lie? <laughs> There's not many yeah. jokes so that like stick stupid. out anymore. I don't know. Do you guys ever have like jokes that you think about just randomly? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like I do, but I can't I, think of them off the top of my head. I feel like I just randomly remember one when like somebody will say something in conversation, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and then it'll make me think of it. I feel like there aren't as many recently that so, really yeah. stick in my brain, but the hung in the tit department, that I'm, one has stuck with me. I'm glad I had such an effect <laughs> on you. <laughs> it is. Like, it's anytime so I hear somebody stupid. say, like, department store or something, I'm like, hung in the tit department. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Just some mark some hung history. ass tits. Fuck, is yeah. that PTSD? Is that, is that considered PTSD? It's, it's on the same level. Yeah. yeah it's got to be a form of it, yeah. Just remembering something is PTSD. That's kind of weird. Yeah, but it's a, it's like a, a scuffed memory. It's not like fucking sunshine and roses. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. like a pleasant uh, one. Yeah, yeah, it's like you know, it's a not ideal one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, life hard. Well, what do you guys want to talk about? What do we got going on? I feel like I haven't actually talked to you guys in a while. I, I feel like I haven't even talked about, like, Tennessee or anything yet, so hopefully hasn't talked about Montana. We can talk about the the Johnny Depp thing. What do you guys Poop. want to talk about? What's the vibe today? Sandwiches. Bologna sandwiches. Poop? Oh, you, I you haven't eaten the fuck out of bologna sandwiches. sandwiches lately. Okay. I've been eating the fuck out of poop lately. <laughs> out of all of the things we just brought That's up, the most interesting. talking about bologna sandwiches <laughs> would be the, the hit. Well, I remember we soup. <laughs> You we, thought that'll, we that'll be the one. We talked about that before, that'll and I was like, winner. ah, bologna sandwiches are ass. And then Soup was like, no, they're good sometimes. And then I just went to the grocery store and just saw bologna sitting there. I was like, hmm. Bologna is a location on the leg. Next topic. That is where and it I lives. Just fucking, yeah. I just ate the fuck out of it. It was good. What? Yeah, it's like one of those things that's okay. uh, good in moderation. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I'm... I feel like I just eat mortadella now because it's just like mortadella? tastes like bologna, but what not. What the fuck gross. is that? Uh, I just eat mortadella, mortadella now, actually. Mort- oh I just think- <laughs> Me and the Prime Minister right. eat mortadella yeah. now. So we discuss how now. to enslave people. It is literally at any grocery store ever. You could go to any grocery store and find mortadella. This isn't some. Eat some of that great value bologna, you, you guys boy. are just fucking stupid. 
I want to be able to taste <laughs> only the flavor. I do not want great valuable ones. Eat some of that Oscar Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where I'm from, Oscar Mayer is upscale, buddy. Not no mortadella, <laughs> portobello mushroom. That's what I had was uh, Oscar Mayer. I literally saw mortadella at a grocery well, store in South Carolina. Well, you must have been going to upscale there. places. <laughs> I go down to the local butcher. He just get sitting there killing know. pigs on the side of the road. <laughs> butcher will absolutely have mortadella. Is it like a type of meat or is it a brand? Yeah. No, it's meat. It's just it's a cut of meat mixed with a little bit of I think I know what you're talking about. a little bit of spices. Don't don't they, don't they have like little yeah, slices delicious. of like olives in them? It's just <laughs> like the green olives. Yeah, if you're disgusting, you can get it with that. You can, get, but uh, you can do that with like any meat. This is a little like one like of them fruit cakes at like Thanksgiving. Mm. No, it is literally a flat piece of meat. Flap. Like there's nothing notable or interesting about it whatsoever. It is just. A I meat. just do ham, bologna, and that turkey. I just kind of have and a little meat. rotation. I don't like ham. What do you mean you don't like I've ham? I've never really had like ham that I liked. I don't know. It's too salty, and it's just like I've eaten ham before where I've gotten like cartilage in it, and it just threw me off. And it's the good <laughs> shit. Still see the bullet hole in I don't know. <laughs> That's really the only, like, the lunch meat that I don't really eat. I like ham on, like, Thanksgiving, though. Like a like sliced ham? That's good. Yeah, like actual yeah, cooked like, ham, like, bro? Yeah, like, oh, like, God. Billy oh ham well, that could be said of any meat, like... I mean, that's, yeah, that's a, I need yeah. lunch meat. Like, gross it's like turkey. Slimy. Gross bologna, like, in the, cheap in the package. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Nasty. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. wet as fuck, like, Subway meat. Bro, why mm, Subway got the wettest got meat, meat of all time? Probably I only ever off. get tuna at Subway. That's, that's they just, you could literally <laughs> wash Subway meat with soap and water and it would still probably taste the same. It probably tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> what a disgusting wash franchise. Have you seen that? Off. The fucking, well, I think it was some black dude making fun of a white person because they were like cleaning their chicken and like dish soap and water. Oh, yeah. Hot water. Well, Have you guys I mean, seen that's that? Like yeah. a, that's a black family thing because like back that, in yeah. the day, they used, they used to get extremely disgusting like bacterial ridden chicken and meat in their neighborhoods because you know all that jazz that Already happened and, so yeah. yeah like yeah they used to have to literally wash their chicken so yeah so I, I thought that was like just a white person not knowing what they were doing when cleaning off chicken no that's i mean probably i i don't really think they use soap and water i don't know i don't know how it goes but i would hope not yeah, I don't think it's soap. I think that, I think that I saw one where it was like a meme, like lemon. and it was soap. But they use it just yeah. They just it's just rinsing chicken. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hurt. You're not you know, but you don't really need to do that nowadays. It's just weird to soap and water your chicken. Yeah, know. unless they're still alive and you want to give them a bath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it's a nice thing. I don't think you do you give chickens Bro, baths. Chickens, yeah, you chickens you are the, crazy. You put the soap in their beak, and then you just kind of like swash them around. Shake little, it, yeah. Shake mm -hmm. them, make them the swallow it, and then just shake them. Yeah, make them swallow. And then you a just bar rip of soap all the feathers out. Just put them in boiling yeah. hot water. Shake them around. Mm -hmm. That's why they yeah. taste better if you put them in the water while they're alive. It's like lobster. Have you guys ever actually been around a large group of chickens? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. They are insane. They just be doing in the fucking membrane? whatever. They're spastic little bitches. Yeah, absolutely in the membrane. They're little retarded <laughs> dinosaurs, and no, nothing will change my mind. They like so. My friend Paul, his family bought a farm, and mm -hmm. they started with three chickens, and it has now turned into like twenty chickens. <laughs> uh, and they are literally everywhere. They are in the rafters of the barn. There's a fence that's supposed mm -hmm. to keep them in, but they just decided they don't want the fence, so they just jump over it. There's just chickens literally fucking everywhere. They're just climbing random trees. They're in windows. Like, they are literally just freaking out, screeching, and sprinting at all times of the day. They are insane animals. I don't understand huh. why they are the meta animal. They're little Wait, dinosaurs. They're anything, so much better. I bet you anything those chickens stays good as fuck because mm. they're, like, free roam. Free range. Yeah. They also free have range. a little cow named Willie, and he just kind of sits in one spot, Willie. and they don't want him to move. Yeah, they don't want him to move, because then he gets nice and fat. You have a big but old pecker? He moves a little bit. Uh, he did actually have a big dick hair. Not a big dick, but he had a lot of dick hair that was, like, really long. Hmm. Sometimes I'll get nipple hairs that are just, like, three foot long, and I'm like, how did I not notice this until now? Yeah, so three foot just, long. Yeah, I would hope you would notice that. sprout out of nowhere. <laughs> Supposedly, my brother had the longest nipple hair. Like, there was one in the Guinness Book of World Records, and he beat it, but he didn't submit what? it. Yeah, so. Is that confirmed? I I think he, he might still have it. I don't think. He doesn't shave, I don't think, so. <laughs> He might still have it. Yeah, I hope it didn't fall out. If it's out. like an old watch he has or something. <laughs> yeah. Still got that nipple hair! 
He's got it in a drawer around here somewhere. <laughs> he uses it as a bookmark for the Bible. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Everybody turn to hey, Leviticus guys. and he's just got it closed on his tit. Oh, yes, I have it right here. <laughs> he's got a bookmark in the other room. So that's attached to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, you can walk the dog with it. Yep. Have you have you guys seen the video of the guy getting like that ingrown hair pulled out of his stomach? I've no, seen that happen that's so to gross. people in general, but it's like it's like massively long <clears throat> and all coiled up and shit. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, it is vile. And I, dude, I don't know how you even begin to figure out that that's a thing. Like how do you just figure out like, oh yeah, one of my hairs on my body is wrapping around my internal organs. I guess it hurt. Like hurt it inside his stomach? I mean, yeah, it was like, so it was, I can't remember how long it was, but he was like laying there in one of those hospital beds and the, the doctor has tweezers and he's just like slowly pulling this hair out of this dude's stomach and he's like, oh, and it just never oh, stops. Fuck. Yeah. And it was like three feet long or something. It's like one of those, gross. those people who will pull like the, the, the napkins out of their mouth, the magicians. It's like that. It just never ends. <laughs> For uh, real. It just keeps yeah. coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The doctor had to like worry about breaking it off or something like he had to be really oh, careful oh yeah i guess everything. if it like snapped it would just be stuck in there yeah, I gotta dig yeah. back in <laughs> mm -hmm. yucky yeah. i know a kid more, in high more. school who used to grow a single hair on the bottom of his foot all the time it would grow back hmm. what? Oh, that's talent it was just one i've hair. never seen hair on the bottom of a foot <laughs> yeah. before yeah neither have i it was it was pretty gross to be honest it was like thick and black it's part sasquatch it was just you must have just like randomly had like nice. a hair follicle down there for no reason yeah, Weird. apparently it's like completely normal because we all used to think he was dying of like ligma or something. Then he's like, "No, my doctor said it's normal." Does he it's comb like, it? I don't know, bro. He never seen. I don't think he needs to comb one hair now. Uh, Does he curl? He puts it in it? a little foot turban. <laughs> Does he put product in it? Does he condition it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he gets a little bit of conditioner, like naturally, just by you know being foot down sweat. there. I don't know about that, but you know. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Okay. Soup, how was Montana? Or do we want to talk about Johnny Depp first? Uh, Montana was good. Uh, I didn't really do a whole hell of a lot. It was more of just kind of like hanging out, chilling. Uh, okay. It's fucking beautiful. It's big sky yeah, it's so country, pretty, baby. Right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, the mountains are gorgeous. Girl. I think we, we were like 30 or 40 minutes away from old Canada up there, bud. So. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, like, you, it was really beautiful just, like, sitting there at the cabin looking at, like, snow-covered fucking mountains. Yeah, that sounds hella nice. And uh, we went, like, hiking, and we got to go, like, just be in nature, be one with Mother Earth. That sounds so that lovely. Was, that was Bro, really cool. nature go fucking hard. Yeah. It's fun to be just in uh, the middle of nowhere. It is extremely refreshing when, like, we spend so much of our day as YouTubers just... Mm -hmm. Being not near nature. Yeah, I realized how out of shape I was whenever we hiked them. Like, what was it like? Point uh, seven of a mile, and I was like, Oh, oh boy! Oh. I was like, yeah, oh, you might want to. Oh boy! You might want to get to <laughs> moving a little gym. bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, This is uh, this is something. And that was like a, uh, easy trail. You know how they have them like rated or whatever. Yeah. And that yeah. was like a, a very just like easy trail. I was like, God damn, bro! I need to get out of the house more. <laughs> <laughs> you see any uh? Any, like, mountain lions or anything? Uh, no. I don't think I'd be here to tell you if I did. <laughs> because the <laughs> That's kind of surprising. Uh, oh, they're kind of everywhere there. The neighbors had a black bear in their backyard. As but, a pet? I mean, by neighbor, they were... No, it, it, they just happened, I guess, to see it on one of their cameras as it was walking oh. through the yard or something. So that was pretty cool, but huh. we didn't actually get to see the bear. And I wasn't about to go out there like through the trees trying to look for it, you know. Pussy, dude. I think uh, <laughs> I think black bears are not super like aggressive. They're really only aggressive if they're like desperately hungry, or if you're near their young. Yeah. Like there was a up in Muskoka, which is just like a little bit of northern. Muskoka. <laughs> that sounds so Canadian. Um, it is very Canadian, but uh, up there, there's like this this town little like kind of a dump where like you'd bring like stuff that can be biodegradable and a lot of time people would like bring their food leftovers like if they had like whatever ribs or something they'd bring all the ribs there like apple cores all sorts of random bullshit there was a friendly bear that lived there and he would just patiently wait for people to drop the bags off and they would open the bag for him and he'd like just gently sort through them and grab what he wanted <laughs> for food 
Now that is a smart fucking thing. bear. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Distinguished. He was, uh, he was a smart boy, but uh, yeah, he was like the town's bear, and everyone loved him. And, like nobody was scared of him. He wasn't aggressive. People would, like let their dogs loose around him. Like he was just fine. He didn't. Imagine when he just snapped and just ate like somebody's chihuahua. Just ripped a chihuahua <laughs> in half. Long days, yeah. Just ate someone's F one fifty just in one yeah. bite. Yeah. He just <laughs> like find, grew wings and flew out of food. orbit. Yeah, bears okay. are awesome. Bears are fucking awesome. Mountain lions, I you know, am not interested yeah, in whatsoever. Those, those in... things are just going to tear your face like off scary, for no good reason. Scary mountain lions, me no likey. Yeah, listen up, fucking seven foot tall, 500 pound man. Oh, that mountain lion would pick you up like a oh, Ken doll. Yeah. Beat your ass. <laughs> like a Ken doll. <laughs> yeah, I think it's playing with me. You. He yeah. just has a, like a Barbie dollhouse. Dress, dress, puts dressing you yeah. up. <laughs> puts a shirt and a tie on you. Changes your diaper. <laughs> puts McNasty in drag. Yeah. He would. I'm not no, already that would in drag. Hot. That would not be hot. <laughs> You're walking through the woods in drag. <laughs> yeah. Dragging We've my fist there. like a gorilla. I had to go okay. buy uh, hiking boots. That was fun. Okay, how'd that go? I got it was nice, dude. I got to I got to sit oh, there and and let a man play with my feet for free. Oh. Why? Sorry. Okay. Like you got a wide foot, boy. Do, do you boy, not know your own you. shoe size? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. I, I really don't. I just kind of guesstimate. I know Soup, I, what. Soup kind of comes across as a guy that would like buy a shoe once every like five years when the other yeah. one's got a hole in the wall. <laughs> uh -huh. I wore the same pair of Vans from seventh grade to like four years after college. I, well, no, not. Four I'm kind of like that. Three too, years. Though. My, my shoes have to I start to get. That. Shut the fuck up. My shoes have to oh, get. Oh, you know, do shoes are just rampant. <laughs> my, <shoes. laughs> my shoes have to get pretty scuffed before I'm like, maybe I should get some there is, shoes. There is bacterial culture growing inside of your mm -hmm. shoes. I walk outside barefoot a lot. Oh, I don't do that. Really? What are you, Liver King? <laughs> hey, I, I just, I don't really <laughs> like wearing wearing with socks. Socks piss me really? off. Wearing socks. Right I'm the now. opposite. I fucking love wearing socks. Yeah, me like, too. At all possible moments, I can be wearing socks without it being weird. I will wear socks. Yeah, free the toe, being barefoot. Could, if you could wear socks in the shower, I'd probably do it. That is disgusting. You can. I hate my toes be being like up against one another. I want to be. I want them to be spread <laughs> out. <laughs> a social distance your toes. You want them to be free. Yeah, I want my toes to be COVID compliant. I think if you, uh, if you, because your your toes aren't supposed to be like. They actually aren't supposed to be the way that they are. And I think if you just walk around barefoot for a long enough time, your toes will naturally, like... What do you mean by that? Your toes that? will naturally... They aren't supposed to what be you... that they are. What do you mean by that? It's they're, literally they're supposed... a cotton sock. There's no way it holds your entire bone structure in a different place. It's, well, it's just like... like shoes and stuff, too. It's not just socks. It's not like those Chinese women that wear those shoes that come to a point, and then they get, like, their, oh, their, yeah. their big oh, toe ends up, yeah, like... They get the velociraptor talon. Yeah, and their big toe ends up, like, on the toes underside like... of their foot or whatever. It's just socks. Dude, you know, I think back in like way back in the day before you know like human rights, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> like I, I could okay. be wrong. What a start point. <laughs> 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 but uh, I, I don't know what kind of women. I think they were some kind of Asian women, or Oriental or whatever you want to call it, something Whoa. like that. And they had they, <laughs> they had to like put some kind of jewel on their forehead and they had to be like cross-eyed or some shit. What the fuck? What? They had yeah. to be cross-eyed? Vert tried to do? Yeah, like about the <laughs> shoe thing. Like women over there or something like that, they had to be like a certain kind of standard, I guess. They like couldn't be a certain height or some shit. I remember reading about that shit in school and I was like, I mean, what the yeah. fuck? Even in like, even in not that long ago, like Laos and stuff. Uh, actually, I think it was it Laos or is it... I can't remember where it was, where they had Pol Pot, or Pol Pot, whatever the fuck his Jake name Paul. is. Mm -hmm. Like, really Paul bad dictator. Yeah, Jake Paul. Yeah. He literally would, like, <laughs> execute anybody that wasn't to his personal standards. And, like, sounds everyone like drives on the wrong side of the road there. So, he thought that his country was going too far politically left. So, he figured Christ. to fix that, they would make everyone drive on the right side of the road. What a, a goddamn genius. Based as hell. Based, based as fuck. <laughs> that is a legitimate thought process a man had. Uh, yeah, and he just, like, fucking killed everyone who was, like, smarter than him and shit. It's How like, could anyone be smarter than there's, him? There's a movie about it called <laughs> the, uh, the Killing Fields. It's pretty fucked. Wow. Yeah. That was pretty recent, so it's, like, not even that long ago when crazy shit like what Supa saying happened.
We've really only been were expected to do insane things. We've only really been moderately intelligent for not very long. To be honest, we've honestly just been I going. I wouldn't backwards. even give us that credit. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't give us that much credit. I think that there's I mean, solid proof that we're actually again. devolving right now. In well, some I mean, ways, yeah, for sure. there's very little natural selection happening. I yeah, mean, everyone just has an issue. There's just like fixed by medical science, which is good because you know people shouldn't have to die at like 12 years old because of a genetic disorder yeah, yeah, true. that they have no control over. So it's a good thing, but it's also, yeah, like naturally we're just not going to evolve the way we were, which is, I guess, fine. As long as technology doesn't fail out eventually, it's not a problem. <clears throat> yeah, I don't <sighs> see that happening, though. Bro, speaking okay. of technology, I want to tell you guys something kind okay. of funny. Um, I'm looking into purchasing my first home, and uh, <laughs> so the people that own this home, they have uh, like some kind of generator in the house that will apparently um, power that the house if the the power goes out or whatever okay. <laughs> and like the lady that owns the house says something along the lines of, <laughs> if if the offer I make isn't good enough they're gonna take the generator <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I'm just Why? like I'm like because I, you know, I, you know, I went through the process of like looking at the house and saying that I was interested, and in, you know, all that shit you do if you want to buy a home. And I, yeah. you know, I was like saying, you know, I think I want to make an offer because I like the house and everything. And uh, yeah, she was just like, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take the generator if you don't make a good enough offer or something along those lines. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm looking to buy a house. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck what you do with your generator, man. I don't need the like, tesseract that, from the that, Avengers. I just need the house, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. What a weird, <laughs> what a weird like threat. I don't. Yeah, it's what like, is that? It's like I, I want to buy your property and your home. Uh, I don't really give a fuck about your generator you had installed or whatever. Just take it. It's it's yours. Yeah, yeah I, I just thought that was so weird. It's like what a bizarre. Yeah, I, I'm human worried being. about like is the home like structurally sound? How's the plumbing? You know? uh, how's the how's yeah. the the Elon generator. Uh, I need to get yeah, that. How's, how's the fucking, how's the heating and air and the plumbing and all that? It's just like, we're going to take this generator. And it's like, uh, ma'am, I don't give okay. a fuck. Like, how, it's <laughs> like, how can, I re how can I reply to this in the kindest way possible without telling them to <laughs> shove their fucking transformer up their ass? It's like, uh, we bought fuzzy uh, toilet covers and we won't. You better make a high offer. We're going to we take We will them. be taking those. <laughs> yeah, I was like, bro. <laughs> like, what are you fucking saying? I'm talking about your home right now. Like, <laughs> is there a leak in the roof? Well, we're going to take the pillows if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you better not expect that barbecue in the back. That's ours. That just really threw just, me off. I, I don't know. That was yeah, just that is such odd. a weird well, thing if, to happen. If if you get the generator, you should piss and shit on it when you get it. Well, I just wonder <laughs> yeah. if it's because, like, it, 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 you know, a generator is, like, built into the house. So that's probably why they're bringing it up. And I'm assuming it's... You know, it's a Tesla generator, so it's not. It's probably not cheap. Uh, it sounds so. like they're just trying to do a power move. They want. Yeah, they want I'll, him to offer oh, yeah, like a hundred k over or some shit, probably. <laughs> <laughs> like well, I'm just thinking, like, dude, I'm, that was just not even on the forefront of my mind at all. I don't Man, know. You should have killed him with the AR. What if the house yeah. is only worth okay. like 50k and, and the rest of the price is just generator? The generator is like <laughs> yeah. three million dollar generator. I'm just like, yeah, I take the generator and I just see the listing go down by like a million dollars or some shit. That is not. I'm not spending that kind of money on a house, by the way, for anyone wondering. Yeah, was it was arbitrary numbers. Arbitrary numbers. Yeah. Arbitrary. Thank you. I'm uh, buying an Arby's franchise. Uh, albatross. Good word. Albatross birds are What would happen if you um, bought like an Arby's and you just moved into it to live there? Could anybody just say anything? <laughs> no, you can do what you I'm want. I'm pretty sure you are not allowed not to allowed live to on a commercial property. But who's yeah. going to stop you? Who's going to know? The police. The government. <laughs> well, probably everybody that goes into the Arby's and there's a mattress in the middle of the room. No, like... like <laughs> well, you can do it. <laughs> just don't open I mean, you your business. Just live there. Like I used... When I used to work at uh, the IT place that I used to work at, um, in the back area, you, there was like a like a little living area. So you, and he used to like sleep there sometimes. So it was like so it was a sweatshop. I guess. Huh? I mean, it wasn't where he lived, but like, you know, if, if you want to stay there overnight because you have a lot of work to do, you could just like so crash on a bed yeah. that's back there. But it was like so hidden. It was like quarters. a wall. Yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a false wall. So like you could open the door, wall? but it looked like part of the wall. 
Was he Squad working walking. in fucking Egypt? Was it like the Pharaoh's chambers? <laughs> no, it was just a door that had like the wall over it. You pull the sculpture down three times. It was an Elden yeah, Ring illusory to... wall. You have to slice a sword through it and it disappears. Put a stone sword key in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. But I mean, like, there's no really way like a, a policeman will walk in and see that. But yeah, if you bought an Arby's and you put a mattress on one of the on one of the tables and you're sleeping on the table, <laughs> then yeah. Well, I just mean it would be I a feel problem. Like there'd be bigger concerns at that point. Just d- you're yeah. sleeping on an Arby's table. Uh-huh. Your life is in shambles. Your life is pretty upscale if that's what you're doing. Though. That's <laughs> kind of a flex. I sleep I mean, on they Arby's are expensive. Tables. We are not the same. Yeah, I feel like buying a franchise would be like at least a couple mils. So I guess that's a. Flex. I'd probably rather just spend that on like literally anything else in the world, but like a big old yeah, but unlimited roast mind. beef. Yeah, see, I don't really want unlimited Me Arby's either. roast beef. <laughs> that's, that's like saying I've released unlimited spiders into your home. You're just like, okay, so that's great, low I guess. on my list of desires. It's unreal. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say that like, to the owners of this home. I've released spiders <laughs> into your home. <laughs> <laughs> There are more have named released, organisms. I have released <laughs> Tesla generating eating spiders into your home. <laughs> they haven't eaten I am in, in your years. walls. <laughs> I should have just uh, replied back, does the house come with egg roll? <laughs> like, How much for the egg roll? If I don't offer enough, does egg roll get taken away? <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, nervous, really though. nice and you'd like moved in and there was just egg roll on the table for you just like politely plated up nice and warm just out of the fryer it's possible my the people i bought cool. from left me some flowers and i was like damn that's nice so you could you really? could get an egg roll yeah that's crazy yeah it was super nice of them <laughs> yeah when i moved into my house there was like literal garbage everywhere and like oh, gross mattresses Yo. and stuff yeah the dude who had my house before me was just some arab guy so we've just been bouncing off other arab guys same uh it was an Arab guy who had it, and he used to literally just have this house to throw parties, apparently. He didn't actually live in it. Uh, so he would just throw big-ass parties here. People would, like, destroy everything and then leave. Mm. And the grass was, a like, compound? a foot long. <laughs> nope. No, it, no Osama bin Laden com- compound. Just a regular... Compound. House. Um, what do you want, McNasty? I don't know. Compound. I just love Canadian words. It's not a Canadian word. Canadian words, words those, those, Canadian those all English. words, yeah. Yeah. Canadian speaking words. They speak in English. <laughs> just normal words. Canadian the words, English. Canadian words. <laughs> yeah, all that. Uh, I guess I can talk about Tennessee. That was fun. Do it. Tell me about Tennessee. About that. Yeah, we had touch can I see? You know, can I see? Shut up. I was telling myself to shut up, not you. Continue. Okay. Alright, um, <laughs> gonna let you have that little schizophrenic episode and be over with it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. I, I don't like any of the things McNasty's doing right now. So shut <laughs> up. Me out. So Tennessee is a state. <laughs> yeah, I went to go visit Tyler. It was the first time I've been there with Wildcat. Um, really? I thought you'd and, been there uh, No, I've never been to Tennessee, so I just went with uh, Smitty and I just went and... Was there a reason you, know, you guys yummy? Went just to go? No, we just, just like... On, I haven't... Been to Tyler's new house yet? Oh. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen any of his Holy new cars yet shit. and stuff. So, I uh, yeah, I want to just go hang out. And uh, we we got there, chilled for a couple days. Didn't really do too much. Kind of just hung out and uh, I don't know, did random bullshit. And then we went to. Do you guys know who Whistle and Diesel is? No. No. No, but the Ethan YouTuber. knew who he was. Ethan. Yeah. Ethan was like, bro, Blarg's hanging out with old Vin Diesel, and I was like, what the fuck. Something like that. Yeah. So he has a he has a pretty fucking big channel, but uh, he just does fuck shit. Like he just destroys shit. Is his full time job. He just literally be doing whatever the hell. He's like Trevor from GTA if he had a YouTube channel. Ooh, okay. That's what he okay. What's me this of. guy's name? Uh, Whistle and Diesel is his uh, is his channel. I think Cody's his name. Um, but uh, Whistle and Bunghole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's public. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we went to his property. Oh, shit. And he has about 200 acres, I think he said it was. Damn. Nice. And it's like, and it's the way the property is set up is so nice. So, right when you go in, though, there is literally uh, probably a thousand or more do not enter signs. And, like, signs like danger, dog, danger, trespassing. There is actually probably over a thousand of them going up the driveway to his property. It is fucking insane how many there were. It is, like, very intimidating. But, uh, 
we we got there and like the way his property is laid out so he has like a, a barn uh like garage type thing in the middle of the valley and then on each side there's like these huge fucking hills and he's got like dirt bike ramps on them and shit and like the one hill overlooks his whole property and it's just super nice and we rode around there on uh on four wheelers and shit that he just has laying around everywhere he's got like 200 dirt bikes there's like a million monster trucks and fucking toyota Hilux laying around like he just has cars and random redneck bullshit everywhere and uh, am I related to I this guy it, by any chance, dude? He literally <laughs> is like I felt like I was back in South Carolina for a little bit. Hell there. yeah! So we were just we were trying to figure out what to do, and I guess he was just like, oh, I, I don't know, I'll keep myself entertained. He just grabs his one of his cars, his uh, R33 or 32, I can't remember GTR, and he just starts doing donuts in his garage, and it is not a very big garage, and he's just doing donuts around this ladder that they had set up to fix a fan. <laughs> And just like literally blowing our fucking eardrums out. It was it's so fucked. And then he took the I don't know how much of it I can actually say because I think he's making a video about it. But long story short, he is he is destroying a vehicle in a very interesting way that will upset a lot of people. Hell yeah. And we were there when a lot of the blowing up of certain parts happened. And it is just fucked. He bought like Oh, he's got, like, school buses on his property that he's blown up and all sorts of crazy shit. Holy shit. And, uh, yeah, his his house was fun as hell. And we hung out with Yummy. Uh, we didn't do too much with Yummy. We went shopping, and then, uh, and then we ate dinner, and then sat in the pool. That was about all we I did I bet that Yummy. guy's CPA is, like, you want is like, with Yummy. <laughs> I, I bet whenever that guy goes to do his taxes, the, the, the tax person is just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dude, his his off or his like his whiteboard is so fucking stupid. I walked in, I was like looking at his to-do list, and I was like, oh, he's got a long to-do list. And I started actually reading them, and it was like drain the Atlantic Ocean. The next one would be like, find out where to put water from the Atlantic Ocean. And it's just like just all sorts of random shit, like fill the Grand Canyon with sand. It's just, like, so many random things, like meeting with Joe Biden. Just, like, the most random bullshit that was not actually a to-do list. It's like a fantasy whiteboard or something. Yeah, yeah. you go in there and you're like, damn, this guy's busy. And then you actually look at it and you're like, okay, no, that's fucking stupid. (laughs) Yeah, just, like, also, as a Canadian, like, I've been around guns, but not Mm. to that extent. Literally, like, walk in his barn. There's just a bear at 50 sitting on the fucking counter. <laughs> Who the fuck really? is just, this just, like, guy? rifles everywhere. He's just insane. There's just so much fucking uh, cool shit going on. He's got, like, 200 little motorcycles, too. He's... And every time they're sitting there for more than... Like, they have, like, ADD with, like, motorcycles and four-wheelers. If they've been sitting for more than 30 seconds and nobody says a word, they all just instinctually get up and just start fucking brapping up a hill. Brapping? <laughs> what is that? It's wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's motorcycle sound. It's, it's just yeah. motorcycle. Dude. That's it's that's slang that I call oh. like a fart, like brapping. <laughs> I brap. just fucking brap my shorts. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be brapping all night. <laughs> yeah, his uh, his property is fucking cool, and I'm very jealous. And I love Tennessee. That place was that place was fun. It is like extremely pretty, especially where Tyler lives. Um, and like you can get so much property there for such a reasonable price. And I'm just very jealous of that. And it's so hilly. It's so flat where I live. Hilly. Like seeing big old, big, old, big old hills is just always entertaining. Yeah, Montana but, is uh, pretty flat, and then there's just like a goddamn mountains. fucking Mount Doom. Well, because <laughs> it's like literally in a like, giant-ass uh, like glacier slide, like where glaciers used to slide through. Like it's in a ravine type thing. Do mm. mm. you believe in Pangea? So, absolutely. Like, like the world being Pangea Express together at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sense. a Pangea denier soup? Is Pangea not a, a proven thing? Isn't that the Earth a, is flat? It's, it's pretty proven. Well, it was flat when Pangea existed, and then it s- uh, circular s- 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 <sighs> spherized. It it. Stop! Stop! Off. Do stop! It's spherized. You know explain this, Stop! 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 Government don't want you to know that. <laughs> Thank you. If uh, the Earth is flat, then why does with, Bill with, Clinton have such a dumpy? What's going on with Johnny D? I didn't, I didn't hear about that, so it's news to me. He, oh, he won the won. defamation yeah. thing. Did he? Mm. I saw Amber yeah. Heard made a fucking tweet, and people were like, "Shut up, bitch." 
Good. No, that was a while ago. That was like a few days ago, I think. And then she, oh. she was just explaining the situation. Everyone just said L plus ratio. Oh. Although, all I've learned <laughs> from the fucking, from that trial is that they are both fucked in the head and need intensive therapy. Oh, for sure. I mean, yeah. people that watched that trial and went, yeah, Johnny Depp, no do bad. That guy is actually just mentally inept at dealing with a relationship. And they both are. They both were just fucked human beings. All yeah. I know that about is it is that Johnny sad. Depp played a concert like two days before the, uh, what yeah. the hearing or some shit or something like that. Yeah, he 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 seemed like he just kind of vibing. Yeah, yeah, I fucking love him as an actor, but like, I don't know, man. He, the just I mean, like blind love. He be doing drugs. It's good to know. Clearly it's good to not know he's, great. It's good to know he's not an abusive piece of shit, though. Yeah. No, no, he definitely is not. I mean, definitely not a physical abuser. Yeah. I mean, there's is. What happens mentally is, you know, it's so well, hard to tell. What do you think about it too? It's like, side, right? but you know, if you're if you're in a toxic relationship, it's hard to not be toxic yourself. Like being around yeah. somebody well, toxic I mean. rubs off it's on like, you. That that trial just put into light how fucked both of them are. Yeah. Celebrities so in uh, Hollywood yeah. are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I love his movies though, so big fan of him. Yeah, I mean but, he got yeah. he got I, dicked down definitely in his life and in his in his, oh, in yeah, his he definitely professional sh- professional life and shit. So professional. He definitely shouldn't have been thrown under the bridge the way he was at first without like any sort of actual proof proof or yeah. anything. For sure. Which is fucked. But I mean at least I feel like he'll at least get a career now. I feel like that's all he ever wanted out of this pack is just like a career. Because you're allowed to be a weird fucking human being. Like, you're allowed to not be great in relationships. You know, right. that's yeah. just... That's something a human being <clears throat> can work on. That's not, like, a personality trait. Um, if he was actually abusive, I'd understand why everyone would be, like, never putting him in a fucking movie again, but... I think now yeah, that's didn't he that lose he's Didn't just, he lose movie roles because... Yeah, he lost uh, his Disney pirates. dropped him, like, immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he lost th- the role. Like, probably one of his most famous roles. Yep. Uh, yeah. Which sucks, because I love those movies, but... I wonder if they're gonna yeah, take he him back now. Uh, he, he ain't gonna him. go he back. Hell it. no. Yeah. Well, I mean, just from all, all the world. publicity from all of this, I mean, whatever either one of them do next is just gonna be massive. <clears throat> yeah. It's true. not like anything that comes out of the, like. So much has honestly, I, I haven't even fucking heard of Johnny Depp or even thought about the man Until since this. I watched yep. like Pirates of the Caribbean, and now this is just everywhere. So it's yep. like. It's like the the saying like any press is good press. So I feel like either of them are just gonna be fine. I mean, yeah. I mean, if, if you can get sued for what fifty million dollars, yeah, then like fifty God and then damn, counter sue for a hundred mil. Yeah, I, I think you'll be all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's definitely not gonna be bankrupt after this. Everyone's like enjoy bankruptcy. Like she's fine. She literally was in fucking Aquaman. Like. Yeah, and Years she's ago. still going to be getting paid for movies that she's yeah, been she's in. She's doing or Aquaman too as well. You know what so, I found yeah. out so, yesterday? Like, Do you, you guys have seen Pineapple Express, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I know she's she's in there. She's also in. She's, uh, the da- she's the daughter in Pineapple Express. Yeah, she's also in Forty Year Old Virgin. Really? Ah, I, yeah, I just she's, never really knew who she was until until I think this it's 40 case. Old Virgin that she's in. Yeah, I never knew who <clears> she was at all before this either. Yeah, me neither. Same. I remember seeing her in Aquaman and thought, wow, what a horrible movie. <laughs> that movie was dog <laughs> shit. I don't know. That I, is genuinely one of the worst movies. I heard I Morbius I've wasn't very good. Through. Morbius is Morbius such is a meme, dude. You <laughs> watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm Morbin over here. It's Morbin time. <laughs> I'm Morbin here. They made 50 million or 50 more billion dollars from that movie, so. Billion? More billion? <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. Billion? No, yeah. they made like 500 more billion dollars. Oh. 500 billion. You sound like yeah, a little five. kid that doesn't know the value of money. <laughs> no, they, I, dude, I saw it. So like a stack of like last night. 10 20s and no, they're like, that's dude, gotta be 10 million. I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> I saw it on Twitter from an unverified account with 20 followers. They made, <laughs> they made 500 oh. more billion dollars. Drew, 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 Drew. Drew? Who's Drew? Drew, 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 Drew. Drew, Drew. Uh, the yeah. director. He also <clears> made 500 more billion. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> oh, okay. Everybody's just making 500 billion a day. That's yeah. why milk is eight dollars a, a gallon. Situations like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and all that, I, I I just feel like people deserve a second chance. You know. Well, cancel culture yeah, says well, no. Yeah. No second chance. I mean, to be f- <laughs> to be fair, the only thing that's stopping people from calling them both white trash dog shit is that they're wealthy and famous. If that case went across, like, if that was on Judge Judy, 
<laughs> like people would have just been trashing them as both horrible human beings and just the bottom of the barrel. It's it's I don't know. It's just weird. It's a weird weird vibe. Judge <clears throat> booty. <clears throat> Judge booty. What if it was all just an act? It was just a good meme. I, I don't know if I'd lose just fifty movie. million dollars over an act. Hey, there'll probably be a movie. <laughs> They yeah. probably will. Point, There's probably going to be some fucking Netflix documentary about it, and they're going to both profit yeah, from it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, 100%. listen, live. I know I said you for 100 million, but hey, Netflix wants to make a documentary about it. So. <laughs> documentary? So, you documentary. know. They, you know, I might have sued you for a hundred million, but you know, me and my lawyer. Is he just Duke always Wellington. Jack Sparrow? He's just not even showing yeah, he's, You know, he's an American man. Hey, listen, <laughs> I know where the the hidden pearl hey, is. Run, run, run. The hidden pearl. Hey, I know where Davy Jones' locker is, love. So there's a hundred million uh, in there. Jar of dirt. <laughs> jar of dirt. Uh. Jar of dirt. Yes. yes. Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt DVD. Goons LLC should sue Amber Heard next. She has yeah. defamed us. As she, yeah, she pooped in a bed really after I that? did it, trying to say that she was Actually, the first that's one. Probably, that's, that's probably the funniest thing that's come from this whole trial, is that Amber Heard laid a hot log on Johnny Depp's She bed. actually did it on purpose. I, I don't think you could accidentally leave a giant steaming log on somebody's pillow. I'm proof. Dude did it, it to himself. I'm proof. <laughs> Tooth fairy. <laughs> No, you left a full fucking racing stripe down the middle. Well, Can you sue yeah. yourself? I think I should. Probably. I wonder. I wonder if you could sue your like your company. Could, your own actually, brand? didn't Papa John do that? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't he know. he oh, probably didn't own. Us. Yeah. What? Go ahead. <laughs> I forgot to tell okay. a story about a uh, about about Tennessee. Uh, so. We were we were gonna go to downtown Franklin because we were gonna go get subs. The turtles made a huge a huge sandwich. Fuck? Yeah, we're gonna go fuck Franklin the turtle. <laughs> okay, now we're but, talking. Uh, Smitty's a huge. I was thinking of Franklin from GTA. Guy. Okay, well, yeah. think of whatever Franklin you want. Yeah, suck to right Franklin's now. Okay. Franklin. Go ahead. Uh, there's a sandwich plot spot that Smitty sandwich wanted to check plot. out. Let this man shut the fuck let up. Let this man talk to myself. And, let, and Tyler was like, "I want to drive the the RS, the Porsche." So you guys take one of my other cars. And he's like, "You can drive the pickup truck, but it's really big and it's going to be busy downtown." He's like, "Or Matt, if you want to drive my old M3, feel free to do that." And I was like, "Okay, I'll just drive the M3." And I wasn't Let's really see. thinking. And he's like, uh, "It's manual. You good with that?" And I like was like, uh, "It should be fine." So I, I've not driven a manual in at least five years, and the only time I did was to get a car in and out of the shop when I was in automotive engineering. So, like, I never really drove them on the road or anything, but I was pretty confident. I was like, I, I think I have sorted out. Uh, so we got pretty much there, and then there was the Franklin Rodeo happening. Mm. So downtown was fucking packed, and we hit stop-and-go traffic, and... You were and stalling. I met Jesus. I <laughs> stalled like three times on the way in because of stop and go. And I was like, fuck. We finally got there, waited for traffic to calm down a little bit, and it did. No big deal. Uh, I think we stalled a couple times on the way home. It wasn't really that bad. I just start the car and just go and we're fine. But there was one one problem. Right before we got back to Tyler's, there's this uphill stop sign four-way. And... I did not know how to get the car going on a downhill, like, or an uphill slope. Because the car rolls back, and if it rolls back, it will immediately stall. Uh huh. If you, uh, if you, if you don't do it right. And I had no idea how to do it. So I'm sitting at this stop sign, me and, me and Smitty in the car. I'd put it into gear, let go of the clutch, we'd bounce like half of a foot, and then stall. And we did that, like, for probably like three minutes and then this dude pulls up in uh, a little veloster little hyundai veloster and it was a manual and i could hear it and he came up rolls down his window he's like you guys good everything okay i was like yeah i'm gonna be honest i just have no idea how to uphill start a manual car and he's like wait are you that youtuber and i was like probably <laughs> not the one you're thinking of he's like no 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 i watch you all the time and i was like 
I was like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, uh, what's your name again? And I was like, Blarg? He's like, yeah, that's the one. Gives me a thumbs up, drops his car in a gear, and just rips past us. <laughs> so he didn't even help you? <laughs> he didn't even offer. He offered to help. Realized I was a YouTuber. Thumbs up. So dip. Fuck that guy. Hey, at least he left you a like. <laughs> if, if he could have just, like, got the car up, like, two feet to flat land, he could have saved us a whole lot of... A whole lot of burden, but instead he just, I think he just wanted to flex that he could do it, so he just ripped his fucking car, chirped the tires, and just fucked off, never to be seen again. You got trolled, I was IRL. Like, I was like, bruh, <laughs> Smitty was fucking I dying. That. <laughs> it was so funny. So what happened? Like, Did you end up getting it? Time. Yeah, I was fine. I just like, waited till there was like, nobody at the four-way, and then I just fucking, because the thing is, if your car's about to stall, and there's enough engine power, if you just foot to the floor, send it, you will do like, it will buck like five times and then you'll be good. You just have to power through the stall, but you have to like go full throttle and just send it. So I waited till nobody was there and just ripped it up the hill full speed. So I ended up getting it fine and I got back and I was like, Tyler, why the fuck did you make me drive that? He's like, man, best way to learn is in the hot seat. <laughs> it's like, bruh. I was not prepared to drive downtown Franklin with that. I thought we were just going to do back roads. But, uh, I mean, it's good, because my car that comes in, like, three days is manual, so it was honestly good that I got city practice, but, yeah, that was, uh, that was a struggle. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how to do manual at all. I've never been in one or Same. been around anyone who has one, so. It's pretty easy. Like, actually, it's extremely easy. It's just learning a car in a heated situation is enough already. Learning, like, or you know driving a manual car that you haven't driven in five years mm -hmm. on a new car that's pretty old too it's like a uh, e46 something so i think it's like 2003 to 5 or something uh so it's not like a super new car so the clutch was a little worn out like the shifter wouldn't go into first sometimes like <coughs> it's just it just was was the worst situation to probably <clears throat> pick up can, a manual uh, car for the first time after five years i can put my trx in manual it was like a manual mode. Well, that's just yeah. You just have paddle shifters. Yeah, same. It's yeah, not I actual. Have... It's not actually manual. It's you. You don't have to use the clutch or anything. Yeah, I have that as well. Yeah, true. Yeah. Is is yeah, all the way over? Is all the way over and and down? Isn't that reverse? Uh, it depends. The there's so there's like a dog leg one, uh, and then there's ones that dog leg. You have to like, they're to the left side. So like where first is, but you have to like push down on the shifter or pull up on it for it to even slide into reverse. And then some. Some will prevent you from. There's a. There's a. A boo boo situation you can do, on a manual, and it's called a money shift, and it's when you go from fourth to fifth, and then you try to go to sixth, but you accidentally slot back into third. And it, it it's it's a very scary thing because if you do it, you're more than likely going to blow your motor up. So there's always that stress lingering, but a lot of modern cars have it, so you can't even money shift. Like if you're if you'll over rev the uh, the engine, it'll just stop you from slotting into that gear. But uh, yeah, I had car a friend did not have that, so that was lingering as well. I had a friend. Well, I still have a friend. He's still alive and well. But he had a <laughs> he the had story a doesn't end well, Jeep. does it? Shit. <laughs> he had a manual Jeep, and I swear to God, we'd like be going down the highway, and he would just turn the the fucking engine off and take the keys out and be like, hoo, yeah. Hoo. Hey, look at here, bro. Like, oh, God, what am I going to do? And I'm just like, you've done this three times today. You're not like... I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can do weird shit. And you can like you can make them buck like crazy, too. If, you're, if your passenger is ever, like, drinking and you want to be an asshole, you can just drop the clutch too quick, and it will literally make the car buck forward, and you can just make them deep throw their own straw. It's pretty fun. Mm. You, you can do a little mm. bit of trolling. That's how I drink normally anyway, so... Yeah, I'm already at the back of the throat. Just yeah, guzzling. when I'm drinking and driving, I just, I just deep throating it. Based. I do Based. that when I drink gamer subs by using code goons. Correct. Drink gamer subs and that. drive. Yeah. Deep Maybe throat not. G subs with code goons. I've actually been fucking allowed? up the caffeine free stuff lately. Yeah, the caffeine stuff. Caffeine free stuff is good. If I don't feel yeah. like drinking plain water, it's like a yeah. It's like it's kind of nice... weird though. It's kind of almost like a. Uh, it's almost like a, I guess, a placebo effect. Because when I drink it, I almost feel like I'm drinking caffeine. You know. You know why? Because you're hydrating. You're having water. It, it water is do make you yeah, feel good, good when you stimulant drink water. as well. Yeah. yeah. It's the same feeling as well. I drink fucking four gallons of water a day, anyways. But Prove it. When I um, 
I okay. don't believe that Here, here's for my a second. 64 ounce uh, and Yeti's And it does also have right like extra, extra vitamins and minerals and all sorts of jazz. Oh god, my dog is barking. It's not, <gasps> does that have freeform like cool. jazz in it? Um, Probably has freeform jazz. I would hope so. It's like it's the same feeling when you drink when you're drinking coffee, but it's decaf. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, <laughs> your so dog nothing? is barking in my Oh What? My what? cat almost just knocked over my whole interface. Oh. oh. Okay. You should eat it. I always forget yeah. that you have a cat. So you bring as it you up. Should. It's very forgettable. Yeah, I don't I don't know why you just like don't come across as a cat human to me. Why yeah, do you have me one? neither. I, yeah. Well, sometimes I forget to feed it for like two years. But uh just every once in a while. Okay. Yeah. Every couple of years, I forget to feed it. Every two years, I forget. <laughs> it's it never feasts been fed. on the dead flesh. It just eats its own poop and then just poops out its own poop. And it's just a vicious cycle. Infinite of Food GTA. Good album. Blade. Which one of you? Album. Which which one of you was it that said we should feed African kids corn so they could just keep eating it out of their shit? I so feel like that might have been me. I think. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, so. you said something about that, and we said it was like an infinite food glitch. Parents yeah. try yeah, this. GTA money glitch. Yeah. I watched a, a meme about a guy who like was changing his baby's diaper and he would like right. sifted out the corn. I was like, we ain't wasting no food in this house or something like that. No, you didn't. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was standing in front of a mirror. <laughs> yeah. I okay. poop out my own corn and eat it. Yeah. I wonder if the band Corn does that. <laughs> well, they spell it wrong. Inspiration so. for their name. I bet there's a one member of the of the band Corn that doesn't really actually like Corn. I don't like that In narrative. Monster. I don't. I don't like that narrative. I don't. I don't. <laughs> You're upsetting. I don't. Dude. I don't. If I go to a if I ever go to a Corn con concert and there's not a Lote just readily available, I'm gonna be very pissed off. Lotad, the Pokemon. A Lote. <laughs> What's that? It's like Spanish corn. It's got like Next the mayonnaise and the tahini corn? on it. Yeah. They I, should just sell that at their shows. I feel like that would yeah. be a good marketing move. But then, like, have it, like, inside out because they spell it with a K instead of a C. So they like, should play in the center first. of a cornfield and not tell anybody which cornfield it is. <laughs> and then probably die of heat stroke three minutes in. Metallica kind of did that recently. <laughs> did. Died of heat stroke? Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> okay, good No, they, they, uh, they pulled up into, like, a random neighborhood in California and had a show and didn't tell anyone. Isn't that what you did? Kind of sick. Yeah, but we told people. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> no one would have why. showed up. <laughs> you sounded like Kronk there the way you said that. <laughs> that was weird. Kronk. Gronk. Kronk. Good character. <clears throat> My name a Gronk. We're doing that again, actually. Playing in a back alley. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was kind of cool. I feel like that'd be a fun ass show. It actually like was hot, one of the best shows that we've had, to be honest. I don't know. You don't have to really deal with like any uh, like venue owners or anything. You just kind of show yeah. up, and it, yeah. it's free, so anybody can come. And so it's I don't know. Well, it's because it's time. just in an alley. <laughs> yeah. Is there no like, like risk of uh, like noise complaint or anything? No. Um, I think one of the headlining bands. The sheriff's office or whatever was like right down the road or some shit, and so they probably had to clear it with the city. I would imagine. I think so. And the sheriffs were were cool. They were like, "Yeah, we're not gonna bother anybody or anything. So you guys just have fun. We don't care." That's super good. Yeah, but you can't fire yeah. uh, fireworks in a city, which is not cool. I wish you could. Okay. Like, just saying. Just throwing did, that out there. Is, is there a backstory to that? Was did you try to light fireworks in the city? I thought about it. I've thought about it a lot. I, there was a guy, actually, <laughs> we ran into downtown Toronto that, like, I, you know when you're in a big city and there's just all sorts of walks of life? This mm -hmm. like, he was not crackhead, but he was, he was, he was, he's a couple more years and he's there. Mm. Um, Still on his metal life, honestly. Yeah, there was a there. Tame Impala show. And me and Smitty were walking, and this guy's like, you guys go to the Tame Paula show? We're like, no, we didn't know he was in town. He's like, oh, okay. Well, I have fireworks. <laughs> like, oh, okay. And he's like, I'm going to go light them off outside the Tame Paula show. We're like, is he still playing? No, he's been done for a few hours. Okay. okay. <laughs> and he just ran across the street full sprint 
with his backpack full of fireworks. That sounds like a <laughs> conversation just... they would have had in like Drake and Josh or something. Yeah, yeah. It was, that it was guy like, was an NPC. Like I could as hear, fuck. I could hear Oblivion yes. music yes. happening during <laughs> yep. that conversation. It was just so weird, bro. Hmm. Well, did he do it? Yeah. Did y'all follow him or anything? Or no, I wasn't about to follow this guy. Why? Fuck that. Because you're not allowed to light fireworks in the middle of the city. Well, you're not the one lighting them. No, but I'm kind of... Uh, is that an accomplice at that point? I guess if I help... I, I don't everybody know. Everybody just happens to be enjoying the show gets arrested, too. Just federal prison. <laughs> everybody was lives. kung fu fighting for some reason. Did you guys see that video of the dude who blew his whole hand off last weekend? No. Or I guess that was just this <clears throat> no. weekend. Memorial weekend was this weekend, right? I don't really uh, go yeah. on Live League very much. That sorry. was Monday. Ooh. Live leak doesn't exist anymore, but uh, sadly, but yeah, he uh, he was Hell? holding a firework. What is that? What is this? I was slapping my own ass. Don't worry oh. about it, just keep talking. Can okay. you keep doing that? Uh, it's like you're beating the shit out of was, a can or something. <laughs> he was holding a firework and he didn't let it go. And it was a big mama because it blew the fuck up, and his hand Ooh. was like shredded wheats. And mm, I don't know what drug this man was on. Or if he was just so drunk he didn't care. But he literally was sitting there and his hand is spewing blood. Like, actually like... Michael Bay film blood flying, like squirting. Like a main artery and, was exposed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's just standing there. Didn't care. Just drinking his beer. Holy shit, he's... Everyone else is freaking out. People are like trying to tie a belt around his arm to stop the blood. <laughs> he's literally just smiling, drinking a beer. Does not care or like recognize what has happened to his hand at all. Yeah, he's <clears> his <throat> way out of that the next day. It is disgusting. It like blew up his hand. Like it went like straight down the middle. Like somebody just literally tore it in half long ways. They did the bit. They did the meme, and <laughs> one of his fingers were gone. And it was just like it I've went all the way up like to that. like where his wrist was. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. I remember seeing like, uh, he was one just unbothered. I remember seeing one where this guy um, accidentally got his hand stuck in a meat grinder. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, his hand was all mangled. It was just gross, bloody mess. I don't think it was yeah. a video. I think it was just a, I think it was a picture when I was a kid. Because you know, I'm I remember, pretty sure there is multiple pictures of it. Uh, yeah. Like, as in there was like a whole, like, his hand in the meat grinder, and you could see like little finger bits coming out of the, yeah. like where the burger would be. Mm hmm. It's gross. I wonder if <laughs> you ate it. All sorts of nonsense. I, I, I feel like at that point, you're just wasting food if you don't, right? Yeah. So it's pretty not cash money. It would just be a cool, some, like, some imagine telling people, like, yeah, I ate my hand. Like, I ate a couple of my fingers. Yeah, bro, what happened to your hand? Oh, you know, I ate it. If I don't <laughs> go, you. dude, that's a funny joke. And you're like, nope, I actually ate my hand. Literally, you show them the picture of, like, the burger that you made out of it. If that don't get you bitches, it's a little nothing, fingernail. Really. Yeah. Mm. Man burger. <laughs> We're yeah. off. <laughs> I went to a Baby No Money concert yesterday. That was fun. Were there man burgers there? Um, Were there babies? I really didn't check, actually. Did no one have any money? Yeah, there was a bunch of broke-ass babies there. <laughs> just broke babies. Literally just like po like boss baby, but he was like fired for sexual harassment. Yeah, he was baby. in a burlap sack instead of a suit. Yeah, it just had nothing to his name. I can't but, believe uh, I yeah, played Among fun. Us with Baby No Money. Yeah. That still just kind of blows my mind a little that, bit that I, 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 I younger, younger told him to, for like a little bit. I told him to come on the yeah. That <laughs> uh, was so funny. I remember that he's just like there's like 20 women in the background, <laughs> and he's we're playing. And I think it what was it. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go get my dick sucked or something like that. <laughs> and he just fucking left the call mid game. We're like, I right, cool. Yeah, he's like, I'm but, talking uh, to some 40 year old woman or some shit. It's like, what? bitch, stop Bro, sucking my he, dick. I got imposter. I need to focus. Yeah, <laughs> I have I'm never to seen. <laughs> I have never seen somebody pull woman as easily as that man. It is actually insane. Like the young few times I've hung out with uh, young gravy, the few times <clears> I've <throat> oh, hung yeah. out around gravy, he just attracts women who like they don't even know he's like, you know, pretty well off and you know, big musician. They literally just see him standing there, this big old scarecrow looking motherfucker. It's because he's just like and tall just, and has like nice hair and you know, very approachable face. I think it's a, it's just uh, it's just charisma. You know when somebody like. You know when somebody's just got that vibe, you're just like... It reminds me of Jack they Harlow. Got, they got it's that like the energy. same vibe as Jack Harlow. Just very Yeah, they just got like that, that energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just self, you know, confident. You know, just, uh, just a good-looking human being. Yeah, I think he's just got that going for him. 
And he's John also Cena? a pretty funny dude, so that doesn't hurt. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, he he uh, he pulled many women the few times I've hung out with him. But but maybe no money's fucking. And awesome. while he's we played nice Among dude. Us with him, which was interesting. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I told I told Alex to come on the podcast though, so fuck yeah, yeah baby, no money. So yeah. one day he will he will come hang out with us. I think he's going to Europe. He's going to Montreal today. We uh, we had to drive a couple hours to go see him, and we we're gonna hang out at a bar, but it was already like midnight. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip home. But uh, yeah, he's a super nice dude, and his concerts are fucking. I have so many like videos from 2017, 2018 of him playing shows, and there's literally like five, ten people there that aren't like friends of his or whatever. And then just like every year I'll get like a random, like, you know, how iPhone just recommends like memories and stuff. I'll just get a memory of it and it'll just be like progressively getting bigger and bigger. Every time I see him, it's really fucking cool to see. Mm. So he's, uh, he's popping off though. His, uh, his crowds are, have been insane lately, which is super cool. So yeah, well, that's I highly good. recommend going to a show of his, if he's ever in your town. And he will absolutely <laughs> love having YouTubers there. We there was some TikToker there, uh, Ty something Ty. Oh, Ty Wittis. I don't know. He rates no. He <laughs> rates coffee and stuff. Uh, Obama. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I forget his name. Uh, Ty Fighter. But he was he was a super nice dude. I don't know. And he just rates stuff. That's his whole shtick. And uh, yeah, I don't know. He was there. That was cool. That was about it. I got to hand out water bottles on stage. I wailed a kid right in the head with a full bottle. <laughs> I didn't realize we were supposed to underhand them, so I I overhand just wailed Jesus into the crowd. Jesus Christ! You just fucking MLB that like bitch. baseball. <laughs> he was it. fine. Well, I didn't. I didn't do a full pitch. I just like just grabbed it from the case. He's like, he just came over to the side of the stage. He's like, can you guys grab me a case of water? And I thought it was for him. I was like, yeah, sure. And I was just standing there holding it. And he's like, no, bring it up here. And I was like, all right. So I just brought it up on stage with them. And he's like, all right, we're gonna hand him out. I was like, okay. And then you just bring so out I the just, pitcher's mound and fucking wind it up. So I just, I <laughs> threw one overhand, and then I, I realized that was probably a mistake because I, like, wailed it right at that kid. So I just, I just did the rest it on Sounds like you did it on purpose a little <laughs> yeah. bit. I might yeah. have done it on purpose. Listen, I remember McNasty <laughs> talking to Ronnie Radke, and I thought, if he can throw a mic stand overhand, <laughs> I can throw a bottle. So... <laughs> Everybody that. gets one. That's funny you say that because I I, tra- I invited him <laughs> to the podcast, but he hasn't replied yet. Damn! Imagine getting ghosted by Ronnie Radke. What else could he have going? <laughs> he on? He usually replies to me, but I think he's just really busy right now because he just released a new song. So he's, I don't know, he's dealing with a bunch of shit. I guess I don't know. Or he just really doesn't no, want to come on this you. podcast, which I would not blame oh, yeah, him too, at yeah. all. He probably <laughs> listened to one episode and was like, oh, my Holy God. Shit. But like I, I've talked to him before in DMs and he'll reply. But this time he just, I don't know. Comes on the podcast. Unless he just doesn't want to. I guess. He's pretty active on Twitter. Everyone go tweet at him. Tell him to get on the podcast. Yeah. That'll threaten his life if he doesn't come on. <laughs> yeah. Tell him McNasty sent us to kill you. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> don't do that. I think that I think that can get you on, in trouble on Twitter. Yeah, please don't do that. If you have a following oh. and you send your masses to tell somebody that they're going to kill you. Oh, bungus. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. You'll get over it. Is there really a point in growing a fan base unless you're planning on doing that, though? Yeah. Yeah, if you can't send them to do malicious intent on your behalf, was, is there even a point in having a fan what base? What was the point of this all if you can't control them with your influence? Yeah, why, why are we even doing a podcast if we're not going to use our influence to... True. Ruin other people's lives. To threaten the lives kill of John Lennon. people. Yeah. Kill John Lennon. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Kill John Lennon, the viewers. <laughs> I think that's a safe threat yeah. we can make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just dig up his grave and like reanimate him. Let's all kill Gandhi. With, like, pig's blood and organs, and then kill him again. What if the whole world farted at once? I've been saying this. That'd be a stinky day. <laughs> I feel like that'd be so. I feel loud. like weather patterns would change. <laughs> like the wind would start blowing from east to west. The U.S. government has to go into like fucking sector Def six Con protocol. 4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Area 51 opens up, the missiles get fucking prepped. A ton of EF5 tornadoes appear across the country. I actually feel like that would be so loud, because, like, remember the fucking, when the Misfits did live podcasts? Yeah. And they had the entire audience crack their knuckles, which is a relatively quiet sound, but then when they all did it, it was loud enough to, like, reverb. Holy shit. Uh Like, imagine seven billion buttholes speaking. We should do that, but give every Goons listener, like, a complimentary bowl of chili. (laughs) So they just just shit themselves. July 4th, (laughs) 6 p.m. EST. 
give them a, a fucking date and time. Yeah, we could write that off on our taxes. Shit your pants. We could write off so much chili. Oh, that's the dream. Let's go into like, chapter why, 11 bankruptcy. Why is there $750,000 worth of chili on your taxes? <laughs> <laughs> that's <was> important. <laughs> <laughs> we like affect the global economy of chili prices. Chili market skyrockets. Dude, they, probably, they probably think we opened like a homeless shelter, but in reality, we're just trying to get a bunch of people to fart. Dude, they think we're good people, yeah. but actually, we just want fart time a lot. July fourth, six p.m. <laughs> EST. Time. We should create Shit chili your coin pants and send it to the goons. <laughs> we should create chili coin before we do that, and then have the prices raise, and then we just. Sell it all. Are we phase yeah, plan? We, we, yeah, we should make like a dump chili and dump crypto to our fans. We just found yeah, this a chili new NFT. Let's sell a chili yeah. NFT. Uh huh. Denison's chili in a can. I don't know about NFT you guys, but I get business chili. emails like for uh, sponsors and shit, and they'll put like NFT in the subject line, and I just immediately do. Immediate yeah, me too. No, <laughs> it's just like I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah. It's just it's <laughs> almost like career. Is- I wouldn't say career cancer. Can- cancer. Career suicide, uh, but career, uh, well, I guess cancer does really lead to death, but career suicide, because you're just like, nobody fucking likes NFTs, unless you're like phase banks or something where you just kind of like your whole deal is just personality is NFTs. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, I, I remember seeing Steve Vai selling an NFT of one of his guitars and it was just a picture. Just like a picture of the guitar. Yeah, that's literally what it is. And I was just like, I mean, I still love Steve Vai, but I, I was just like, yeah, a little bit of respect lost on that. It's like, bro, there yeah, was man. a a game I got an offer for, and I was like, my god, why are they paying so much? They were paying like double what I normally charge for an integration. And I was like, was what the fuck is going on here? So it was a game, and you progress by mining bitcoins. <laughs> like actually, so you progress like, by jacking up your power bill, <laughs> yeah. your monthly power bill. That's how you progress in the game. <laughs> oh my god! And it's like you get like skins, and then you can you can sell those skins or keep those skins as like NFTs. Was it raid? Hey, hey, no. watch your mouth. <laughs> you watch your mouth, buddy. You don't ever disrespect raid. Was it G subs? Fucking kill you. Yeah, it was G subs. Yeah. Use code goons. Yeah, he's code Get goons. Bad, uh, pump and dump crypto uh, scams. Yeah, crypto.com. <laughs> he's code goons. Did you guys hear about the man who threw cake at the <clears throat> Mona Lisa? Yeah, I saw that. What? No. <laughs> Why? It was a guy dressed up as an old woman. It was me. <laughs> what was your yeah, motive? I saw what a couple is... comments of people saying that it was. What, what, yeah, what could possibly be the motive? What for could that? make you so mad about you, the like, Mona Lisa? The Mona meme. Lisa. It's literally just a painting. Funny the meme, moment. I guess. That is. I, I heard that the. I don't know if that's a meme. I feel like that's this kind of scumbag shit. I heard that like the real Mona Lisa. Piece of art. I heard that the the real Mona Lisa is like hidden in a basement somewhere, and the okay, one that's Nicholas actually Cage. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck down. <laughs> I gotta steal it yeah, for what's written on the back. In out. the vault of Little Caesars, June twenty seventh, twenty twenty three. Yeah, no, Next but I heard the Walt re- Disney's cranium. I heard because the real one is just so priceless, they didn't want to risk just having it out to view in public, so. They just have a really convincing like replica. That's just the one you actually go and I mean, see. That wouldn't be super surprising. Yeah. The Smithsonian has like fucking. I think it's, it's. I could be wrong. I literally just watched a video on. It. I think it's seven million square <clears> feet of stuff that's just like hidden that will never actually be taken out. It's just like for research and science and shit, and just like uh-huh. too precious to ever put in the public because the public is stupid. And they'll just clearly fuck it up. Throw cake at it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. But, I wonder uh, what kind yeah. of cake it was. Yeah, I feel like that's a waste of cake more than like Red a troll. Red Velvet. <clears throat> you think he took a bite before he threw it, or you think he like tasted it, or? I would hope he would. Otherwise, that's just like wasteful. Yeah. That's just kind of. <clears throat> my you know? my question is, how do you sneak a cake into like the area to where you could throw it at Mona Lisa? I mean, I know it's covered and everything, so you're Brain not really ass. gonna. He just put a whole cake in his ass. <laughs> and well, he didn't throw a whole cake. cake. You it's don't not like that. you threw like a forty dollar like twelve well, inch. We by didn't know. Inch you cake. didn't mention what size it yeah. was. Yeah, but you when you look at the cake. picture, when you look at the picture of the cake on the Mona Lisa, it's not a full cake. It's you just like a that. chunk of icing. I didn't look at the picture. Well, bada bing, bada boom, as the New Yorker True. says. True. Well, you just lost True. that argument. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't they Stay use fun. that in the Depp versus <laughs> Bird trial? <laughs> <laughs> Your honor, bada bing, bada boom. Your honor, bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. 
arrest Walking her in. on the spot. Yeah, <clears throat> and then murders her. <laughs> Amber okay. murder. Should we should we do the outro on that on that yeah. note? The hell? <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> I wanna go. <laughs> okay, wait, Pee Wee Herm, Pee Wee Herman. I gotta poop. Pee Pee Herm. Yeah. Pee Pee Hermit grab. Pee Pee Herpes. Herman Pee Pee on my herpes. Soup, do the outro. Pee Pee on my herpes. I love all it. I snow and oi about that. Okay, goodbye. God goons. Like and subscribe. Download on Spotify. Please download on Spotify. Coco Melon, go to hell. True that. I hope they just sue us one day. We have to go to court against Coco Melon. <laughs> Coco Melon versus goons. What is it going to Who's going to be like the, the, the bailiff or the defendant? Just a baby? The melon. Walter White. Oh, Coco. <laughs> Coco powder and a melon. Saul Goodman. <clears throat> if we hire Dave Saul Grohl's. Goodman, we'll be fine. Yep. Saul Good. Dave Grohl's mom. Okay. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. Bye. <laughs>